Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Newman. I study coronaviruses for a living and read a lot of papers as a result of that. Let's try to use that to answer uh, your questions. Next question is from Nicola. Oh, we like anybody called Nicola. Yeah, fine. Um, let's see. How do you feel about Dr. Ted Noel? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, okay. I've seen a YouTube post about him uh, saying that wearing masks is pointless. Yeah, all right. Um, he seems like a jerk to me, but uh, some people over here in England are taking him for gospel. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, okay. Who's Dr. Ted Noel? Uh, he's, uh, well, he'll tell you that he's an anesthesiologist with 36 years experience. What he is is a retired anesthesiologist. Um, and so anesthesiologists, their job is they have to know about certain drug interactions that are going to knock you out. There are a lot of ways to knock a person out or numb a person's brain, basically, to the point where they can't feel whatever you're doing, like usually some kind of surgical intervention. And you've got to watch for them. You've got to watch for signs that um, something bad is happening inside of them because some of these um, anesthetics have unpredictable effects or they can have unpredictable effects on certain people. And uh, yeah, there's just no good way to know beforehand. And so, yeah, they'll, they'll be sitting there. A lot of times they'll just be sitting there next to the anesthesia machine, you know, <laughs> hanging out, but watching and making sure. So that's the scope of what um, they know as professional knowledge. And uh, so what makes him an expert on COVID-19, you ask? Uh, the answer is I, nothing that I can tell. No, I don't think there's anything. Um, so he's retired. He doesn't uh, work as an anesthesiologist anymore, from what I can gather. And more to the point, I think he has, it's like doctors and scientists. Yeah, here is our public service announcement, our people too. And so after they take off the little white uh, lab coat or uh, doctor coat, whatever, they go home and they vote and they have political lives and they have all sorts of, you know, <laughs> opinions not grounded in reality. Yeah, that's, that's everybody. That's people in general. It's not unique. And so what we're seeing here is a person acting outside of a professional context. And uh, I think you're pretty much spot on basically being a jerk. Yeah. So he's doing tests with masks. He's uh, proving he's dunking. He's dunking on the liberals, I guess, is what he thinks he's doing. <laughs> um, he's also done some videos that I can see still up on YouTube where, for example, he will go through all the uh, problems with... Um, one of the presidential candidates uh, health and as far as I can tell he is not the doctor actually um, treating this person and that is an ethical violation that's one that I would have thought in the UK could potentially get you struck off but he can't be struck off because he's retired yeah <laughs> so yeah this is a person acting outside of an area of expertise outside of the normal bounds that govern professional conduct with a pretty strong political motivation, with no real knowledge that I can tell about anything maybe outside anesthesiology. I can't really judge his uh, knowledge uh, in his field. I can just say that what he's saying about coronavirus is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> um, so among the things he does, he does these uh, mask tests where if you watch the mask tests, they're kind of neat. Uh, so they'll, they'll take vape smoke and yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know what he's smoking in the vape smoke, but uh, he'll take a big mouthful of that, lungful of that, put on a mask, and then breathe it out and show where the smoke comes out. Which, okay, yeah, it's not super scientific, but you could you could try to make it into something. But um, And what you see is that in some of these, like with a surgical mask, none of it comes out, the actual mask part. Um, where it comes out on all of his masks, actually, is most of it comes out right here because he's not wearing any of his masks properly. So you've got that little metal thing in the mask, and you need to bend it down and get it to fit. And ideally, you want a nice little snug fit right against your face. That's what makes the seal. And so he either is not doing that on purpose or is not doing, you know, in which case, that's just um, misrepresentation, basically lying. Yeah. Or he's not doing that because he's totally incompetent, and in which case, why do you take a total incompetence word for anything? Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, he's just a political troll and uh, lump him with all the others. There's no science there. Um, 
yeah, he appears to be completely comp incompetent uh, in the area of virology from what I can see in the um, videos that I watched. So there you go. Yeah, not, not a good source of information uh, and no expertise actually in the field that he's trying to comment on. So what the heck? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, your instincts are absolutely spot on. I hope nobody listens to this goofball. Yeah, with, <laughs> well, somebody will, but uh, at least you aren't and that's good. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.